Fi-fo-fi. But I just don't see it. What will follow, Jazz? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. That depends upon what the Negro does with the spirit of Jazz. Jazz is merely a faint glimpse of something with colossal power which is arising. Well, Alex, are you saying that the Negro will remake present-day serious music? Yes, the spirit of jazz will remake serious music, but the sounds of jazz will not be used. Oh, that's nonsense! Now, don't tell me that such a revolution would be based upon the spirit of jazz. <laughs> you guys are too far up for me. It's insane, really insane. Well, well, so the Negro does all this, whatever you say it is. I don't see how it concerns us. Because the Negro controls America's destiny. What do you mean, our destiny? He can't control America's destiny. But he can. You see, the Negro is their conscience, if they have a conscience. And if they don't, they're less than human. What? What's happening here? What's this? A mau mau meeting? I thought this was a jazz club. This is nothing but black chauvinism. It's this black Americanism. Shut up when I think of the terrible burden the Negro has in trying to teach American whites how to become human. After all, we're not boasting, we're merely laying down the facts. And you may as well accept them or disappear like a handful of smoke. Alex, I don't think what you're saying is black chauvinism. And I think any American white thinks he can judge the Negro that readily is just being awfully arrogant. Look, Alex, I don't know what to call this, but I wouldn't call it black chauvinism. Forget it. Like most American whites, she is to be pitied. Pitied? America's soul is an empty void. The most Americans can see in tomorrow's mirror is a Cadillac or deep freeze. <laughs> yes, or a man walking in outer space. Oh, my God. What's this got to do with jazz or the Negro, Alex? Simply this. America needs an immediate sense of values. It's borrowing from the Negro in language and dress and rock and roll and in jazz in order to fill this need. I don't think we're really wise enough to look to the Negro yet. Have we really looked at all, Alex? Not officially, not consciously, but with creeping reluctance, shame, and pathetic curiosity, America's beginning to look to the Negro for the answers to our problems. But what is the meaning of the death of jazz? The death of jazz is the first faint cry of the salvation of the Negro through the birth of a new way of life. Right, Alex. The salvation of the Negro and the rest of America. That is, if America can realize that the hope for America lies through the American Negro. Then America needs the Negro to teach us how to be American, right? And John, Faye, Natalie, and Bruce, where else does America's future image as a world power reside but in the dark soul of the Negro, whose salvation has now become in the world's watching eyes the vindication of America's posture? <laughs> <laughs>